Hello guys and welcome back to another match preview and this time it's for the Europa League. Finally we have a different competition since um, we got humped at the cup by St Mirren. But before we get stuck into this, let's address the, 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 the three musketeers partly in up. I don't know, I don't know what it was in Glasgow, right? But I mean, Oh, COVID idiots, brother. Um, whatever, who was it? It was Patterson, Bassey, and the guy for the, 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 the young team, the job squad, the guy in football manager I send out every year on loan, and he just doesn't seem to get any better. Mbode or something? I don't care if I butchered his name, because they've butchered us. Like, I don't think it was as bad with Monson and Jones, because they weren't really, I mean, they weren't really playing, right? And I'm not saying, all oh, these three are starters. Well, Mbode's just a jobber, as I've stated. But, with Bassey and Patterson, say... They do get, I mean, they do get bans, like, in Munson and Jones, like, seven-game bans, and then they kind of get, like, ex I don't think they will get exiles from the club like those two, because let's be real, they're, like, our two um, second-choice fullback positions, and, you know, there's no one else that can really play there, so I don't know if Gerard's going to do that, and, for, and for, to me, it would be a mistake to do that, that's just my opinion, you know, he can't exactly... Um, Like get rid of them. That, that's my opinion, but who knows, man? Maybe they'll, uh, maybe they'll turn out they did nothing wrong. Or I, I don't know, man. Personally, I, personally, it's all a load of shite. Not there's not one person who hasn't broke a COVID rule. That's all I'm going to say. But I guess at the end of the day, they were warned after the Edmondson Jones thing. But this pandemic, I, I can't be honest. I, I've I've said my piece on it about a million bloody times, man. Right. So we're going to move on to the actual stuff that matters, and that is the game against Royal. The Royal Job Squad. Um, Antwerp. Who made it through their group but had like Spurs and all in it. I think they actually beat Spurs. But let's be real guys. Spurs are absolute pish. Especially the Spurs team they put out in the Europa League. Which has got like, uh, what's that guy up front? I can't even remember his name. He's on loan from Benfica. And then they've got Bale. Who's just awful. Bale is done. Bale is done. Could you imagine? I mean, look at the amount of money he's on, man. It just shows you, like, football is just holy bloody whack a -mole. Um, but yes, 8 o'clock kickoff, round the 32, we are playing the away leg first, which I actually prefer doing. Well, I don't know, it kind of works both ways, like, because if, if you get an away goal, I mean, if you if you save up your away goal for the first leg, you can't realise how you beat going into the second leg, because you, all you got to do is defend the home. We don't concede goals at Ibrox, so if you look at it from that point of view, guys, I mean, it's looking really good. But... Also, at the same time, you've got Antwerp, who, I mean, when you think of the, the Belgian league, I mean, they're not exactly the, the star par that I think of. Well, I say it's star par. It's not like the, the Belgian league's thriving with star par. I mean, there's no Hollywood Hulk Hogan in there. Like, it's Anderlecht and um, Standard Low Edge, who we, we battered. And I would say Low Edge are um, better than this team. I would, and, and we battered Low Edge, you know, and last time in the Europa League, we beat Poznan 2-0, and that was a bit of a B-string team, well, I was like, I bet it was a B-string team, um, but yeah, I mean, I don't want to say we're already through the last 16, because you've got to go out and do the business on the park, and especially the way we've been playing recently, we've just been hoovering 1-0 wins, or dropping the odd point there, and here and there, but I think we always step up for the Europa League, regardless of what's actually happening with us. You know, that's my opinion. Um, and I think this is a year we can really go far in the Europa League. You know, because the league looking great. We're nowhere near at the stage in the league, though, of like, oh, let's just put our eggs into the Europa League basket because, you know, we need to secure the league first. But in terms of, like, you know, the league is relatively comfortable. So there is that. But like I said, but this Bassi Patterson thing, man, that means as well. I know Barca is a tough play every game, but if one of them picks up a knock or an injury or one of them needs rest at their hump, ah, oh, man, it's not a good situation with that. Um, But yes, in terms of predictions, score predictions, what am I going to go with? We don't really concede, Um, but it is away in Europe and we no, don't normally fucking score that many goals away. Well, I'll say that. I mean, two against. Well, maybe, maybe I've done myself in there. Three at. Three, two in Belgium, um, two in Poland, and then three in Portugal. So we scored seven goals. All right, I'll take that back. We do. Fuck it. I'm going with a two 0 win. We like a wee two 0 win away in Europe, man. Um, and that's the bottom line. It'll be interesting to see as well how uh, Arsenal do against Benfica. I mean, realistically, we should have beat Benfica. You know, twice easily should have been twice, but 
sloppiness kind of just threw that away. But anyway, guys, that will do it for this Fed. Going with 2 now. I will go with Morelos to get back on the score sheet and Captain Tav to get the job done. So until next time, peace.